Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy Twayer. here. Literally this morning, voice deep as hell. I'm tired, haven't slept a lot because I was so excited for the new upcoming patch. But we're gonna put something to the test. We are going to see whether the double event drop rate on Fate Embers is actually something. So I got all of my characters set up to do their dailies. I'm going to speed this up massively and see how many we can get in a single rotation. Let's get it popping. I gotta say, ladies and gentlemen, I was mass surprised when they announced that there will be a two-time Fate Ember number, number one event and this is definitely welcome because if I gotta look at it from an objective point of view, I get around about 20, maybe 40k a week because my roster is that big. Now, if I can two times that, that would be absolutely insane. But knowing that, it doesn't only up the chances, but ups the uh, amount of rolls that you will be able to do, maybe go maybe something else. Ooh, I am so curious how much I can get. Uh, I've already done rotation on day two as well. Uh, there will probably be no video about it unless you guys really like this stuff. But let's face it, I'm already 60k gold in. <laughs> this event is absolutely insane for big rosters like mine. And even if you would run them on rested bonus, that would be even more insane. Because look at this. Two fade embers, no problem. Day one. <laughs> Keep it rolling, baby. And not just for the gold. Obviously, the gold is probably the most wanted thing. But legendary card packs. Not necessary for me, but I know a lot of people are still uh, trying to get that Light of Salvation 30 set. But silver is one of those overlooked values that I don't even know how much I will need in tier 4. I know I will be broke at that point. So having the ability to get a little bit more silver here and there is definitely, definitely welcome. And it doesn't even take up that much time because if I look at the roster that I'm playing, that is also the thing that is listed down below. And I gotta say, it takes me roughly about 50 minutes per daily per character. Meaning that at the end of the day, it takes me roughly two and a half, maybe three hours, depending on what characters, depending on how the queues are, depending how gay kept I get with some characters. Because, well, some do take a little bit longer than the others. But in all fairness, this is amazing. I, once again, am so surprised that they pulled this one. Ew. Right, so to sum it up, we are two, wait, a little over three hours in, did all of the dailies that I wanted to do, uh, and more. So, now I at least know how long it takes for me to get everything done on a daily basis. That includes everything, including the alts that I only play like three times a week. That being said, I did not expect nine fates. I did not expect it and obviously some of the characters were rested some of them are not so it is kind of debatable whether i should add everything onto a single character but if you would even it out it's a little bit less than one fate ember per character per day if that continues on mm, this event is crazy so let me know what you guys think what have you gotten so far please put it down into the comments and let me know and i will talk to you guys next time peace